Hi friends, my name is Shiva and today we are going to discuss another linked list question. So the question we are going to discuss today is, so we are given a Y-shaped linked list and we need to find the intersection point and basically return the data presented at that intersection point. So this is a very popular interview question and has been asked in multiple uh, companies like Amazon, Adobe, Microsoft, Uber, Flipkart, uh, D-Shop and a lot more. So this is a very popular question and so let's discuss it. So basically I will explain what the question is and then we will start approaching the question with multiple solutions. Yeah, so basically the question is, so we are giving a Y-shaped link list. So this is how uh, we, are, we are giving the link list and we need to find the intersection point. So basically this is the intersection point and then return the data. So data basically any data which is presented at that node. So uh, what we can do is we can consider this Y-shaped link list at, as basically two link lists. So for one is this link list and other is this link list. So basically the head of first link list will be this and head of second link list will be this. So now, uh, so we have converted our uh, question into, basically we are given two link list and then they merge at a point which is which we call as intersection point and after that all, all the nodes are same. So we need to find that uh, merge point or intersection point and then return the data. So uh, so basically what solutions comes to your mind? So the first, the very first solution which comes to my mind is, so for example, if I can change the structure of the linked list then what I can do is I can add a flag variable the basically the visited flag variable and traverse the first linked list entire so uh, while I am traversing the first linked list what I am doing is I am marking this flag as true and then after uh, I complete the traversal of first linked list I move to the next next linked list and I start traversing the next, li next linked list so uh, at any point when I encounter a node which has already been uh, the flag of which node has already been set as true that means that is the intersection point and which we need to find and uh, the data of which which we need to return so this is how we can solve the problem very easily but generally we are we are not allowed to change the uh, structure of the nucleus because that's how that's that's not how solutions in the real world work so uh, so this will not work so next on similar grounds what we can do is we can uh, we can basically have have a hash set and then while traversing the first linked list, we can store the nodes of the first linked list in, a, in the hash set and then we start traversing the first uh, next linked list. So before uh, like uh, before visiting each node, we just check if that node is already present in the hash set or not. If the node is present, that means that that is the node we are looking for and we need to return the data. So retrieving and putting the data in hash set is constant time, so that does not add to any complexity that time complexity but it adds to space complexity so it will be proportional to the size of the bigger link list so this also adds space to our solution so uh, we should avoid this let's find a solution wherein we don't use size proportional to the uh, size of link list so in the previous video we discussed uh, another link list question which was like finding uh, a loop in the link list and then finding the first node of the loop so think think for a while and try to see if you can uh, if you can read, uh, uh, convert this question the current question into that loop question so i think now you would have got the idea like how you can convert this current question into the loop question so let me show you how you can do so so basically you, you what you can do is you can start the traversal of the first link list and keep on traversing while you uh, find while you are at the last node so once you are at the last node you can store this node in a variable and then make this link list at circular link list. So basically what what does that means? You need to point the next of this node to the first. So basically you have made this uh, the first link list as circular link list and then you have stored this uh, node address so that uh, at the end of the question you can again change the next of this node to null so that you don't mess up with the input data. So now if you look at the question, the question is same like you are given a loop link list and there exists a loop. So basically the loop is this. This is the loop and you need to find the first node of the loop. So we have already discussed the solution of this question. You can visit my video which appears here and you will get an idea like how you can solve this question using different approaches and the best one being the Floyd cycle algorithm and wherein you you will also see the proof of the algorithm. So we can solve this question using uh, this approach. So uh, uh, this is one way of solving the question and there are like multiple other ways as well. So I'll explain one more way and before that I'll give you some time. So think of another way like how you can approach this question and that's even very simple. So this solving using the loop part is a bit tricky uh, but but the, but this question will, can be solved in very easy way. So 
take your time, pause the video for a few minutes and think how you can solve this question in a very easy way. Yeah, so so let's see the solution. Let's see like how we can solve this. So basically what we can uh, we can do is select we have two linked lists, first this and second this. What we can do is we can take two pointers, the first pointer being the head of the uh, first linked list and the second pointer being the head being at the head of the second linked list. So what we can do is for each node, so basically for each uh, node in the first linked list, we can loop entire second uh, and loop entire on the second linked list and see if the node match. So basically I am with the first linked list and I match, I traverse over the entire second linked list and see if the nodes match. So basically I'll be at, I'll be here, I'll come then here, match the nodes, not match, here, here, here and here. So none of the node match. So now what I'll do is I move the pointer here. So I again traverse this link list and none of the nodes match. So I move it here. Again I traverse to the link list, none of the nodes match. Then I move, move, move it here. So basically I'll be here, here and then when I come here, the nodes match. So I know this is the intersection point and I need to get the data. So this is another way of doing this. And what is the time complexity? So basically the time complexity here is uh, O of M into N where M is the size of first link list and N is the size of other link list. Because for each node in the first link list, we are uh, we are iterating towards the we, we are iterating the whole whole of the second link list. So, so like this is a n, kind of n square um, complexity. It will take a lot of time, but we are not using any extra space here. So this is also not effective, and we can like solve it even better. We can have an even better solution. So so give a, give give a thought, try and see if you get uh, if you reach the final solution yourself. So what is the tricky part here? Like if you see the, the art question and try to solve it simple way so what, uh, what if like we take a pointer here and here and move one by one so but due because the diff size of the both the linked list is not same we are not able to do that so let us first uh, solve our question specifically for the when both the linked list has same size and then try to generalize a solution so uh, i'll take another example so basically in this example both the linked list have same size and since the linked list have same size, I know like after the intersection points, all the nodes in both the linked list will be same. So this is the intersection point and after this point, all the nodes are same. And out of that also, the, uh, the number of nodes in both the linked list will be same because the size is same. So here I can use that property. I can take two pointers, first pointer, second pointer and then move them one by one. So first pointer will move here, second pointer will move here. I'll compare, the nodes are not equal. I'll move further. First pointer moves here, second pointer moves here. I'll compare the nodes are same. So this is my intersection point. So solving the problem with specific set, that is the, then both the linked list size are same. It's very simple. Yeah. So now let's use this size property and try to generalize the solution. So uh, what we can do is we can find the size of the first linked list and store it and then find the size of the next linked list and then store it. So basically in my case, the, my, the size of my first linked list is eight and the size of my second linked list is six. So now I know the difference between the size of both linked lists is 2. So that means uh, the bigger linked list which is first in my case has 2 extra nodes. So what I can do is uh, I can move the pointer in my first linked list which is the bigger linked list by the difference which is 2. So I will move the pointer in the bigger linked list by 2 nodes which means that now both the linked list have same number of nodes. So which reduces our problem to the uh, same number of nodes problem. So now it's simple. So what we can do is initially my first pointer points to the head of first node and my second pointer points to the head of second node. So I know my first uh, link list has 8 nodes, my second link list has 6 nodes and the difference is 2. So I move the first pointer by 2 nodes. So I move it first by 1, 1 and then here. So my first pointer is here and at this point of time my both the link list have same number of nodes which, which makes my solution question to this. So, now I'll start both moving both the pointers by one one node and then compare the nodes. So I'll move it here. I'll just compare. They are not equal. I'll move it here and then compare. So they are equal and then I will return the data. So this is how we can find the solution to a specific set input set and then try to generalize it. So so this is one uh, one technique you can use in uh, like most most of the interview questions. So if you are not able to directly approach your solution, first try to limit your input set try to solve for that set and then try to generalize it. So that will make things easier. So, uh, so uh, now you have the solution of this question. Try to code it. The code for this uh, question is very simple. So I'll explain you what you need to do. So you need to uh, first traverse to, towards the first link list, take a count, take a size variable 
and then you keep on incrementing size and until you find the next node and similarly traverse towards the second link list keep us uh, take a size variable and keep on incrementing keep on incrementing size variable until you find the next node so now you have the size of both the link list and you know and so you can find the difference and after you find the difference you need to increment the larger link list by the difference so like i did in the first case so you need to increment the larger link list by the difference and then after you have incremented you need to uh, run a loop and on both the both the uh, link list and then uh, iterate the pointers one by one in both the loops and in the inside the loop check if both the pointers are same at any more, any point when both the nodes are same that means that is your interesting point and you need to uh, get the data you need to do that node dot data and then return it so this is the solution and i hope you have understand it clearly and you know like multiple ways to solve it using hashing using uh, modifying the structure using like a problem o m is to n and then this problem so i hope you now understand it all the best thank you